Now, your division, most stacked division in boxing, in my opinion, do you think you're avoided by some of the guys who say you have to do more, you still have to keep showing improving? Yeah, I'm avoided. You know, they see this young line, man. Y'all want to give me no work, I'm going to get in there soon. You're going to get it anyway, right? Yeah, I'm going to get it. All right. Now, what would you say is your best weapon? Don't tell The body shots? No, I'm not like, no. I think everything, but my body shot is real crucial. So, I say my body shot. Now, what about the people who have criticism against PBC? They say Al Heyman's ruining boxing, different things like that. I mean, you look sharp. You're always at the events. You get to cover the, or go to the fights. So, what do you think about Al Heyman and the PBC structure? I mean, people say what they want, but it's the fighters complaining. You don't see fighters complaining, but you see fighters driving in our Ferraris and Lamborghinis and jewelry and nice clothes and stuff like that. So jewelry, you say? What, yeah, what'd you jewelry, say? shoes. You got the shoes. Mean, <laughs> the fighters not complaining. I can see if the fighters were complaining, then that'd be something. But the fighters not complaining. You don't feel it, then it must be too real to touch. I'm lying if I ain't correct. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, before I get started, you guys seen the title in the video. I want to give a shout out to Lance Pugmire with the Los Angeles Time. Link to his article is in the description. I want to talk about Errol Spence Jr. versus Leonard Bundu. On my channel, I gave you my post fight thoughts. Thought Errol Spence looked great. He did better than Keith Thurman. He punctuated it with a brutal, brutal knockout in the sixth round even more good news and with new media it's getting bad for y'all i try to tell y'all there's been a lot of people that said al Heyman, he's the cancer of boxing he's all of what's wrong in boxing he sucks he's putting on the mismatches but as you guys seen in the title leonard bundu versus errol spence jr in the ibf eliminated fight had a nelson's rating of 4.6 an overnight rating of 4.6 which translates to 6 million viewers right now i know what some of you guys are thinking the nbc this fight happened on nbc and the olympics were going on right so people had the chance to watch the the last i think it was the last day of the olympics with the usa basketball team getting the gold medal in rio and immediately after they get to see a fight a premier boxing champs fight so that's smart business some people are going to say, oh, they cheated. They used the Olympics. That's good business. If the Olympics are on NBC and you had a fight in Coney Island, right? And you had the opportunity to pick a network that you work with, one of the many. You work currently with ESPN, Fox, NBC, CBS, Showtime. And Al Heyman put that fight on NBC that coincides with the Olympics. That's brilliant. And obviously it paid off if it generated an estimated 6 million viewers. Now, peep this. The great thing is it's not like 6 million people tune into a boring fight and like, what the fuck is this, and cut it off. 75% of those people stay tuned to the fight because they were watching Errol Spence Jr., and it was a good paced fight. And then we seen a brutal knockout. So that's everything that PBC could hope for. Like, if this was a fight with two fighters that weren't bringing it or or whatnot then you'll see a lot of drop off you'll see a lot of people change the channel like what is this garbage this is taking too long because some casuals are like that but anytime you're a u.s olympian you're fighting an eliminator you win by vicious knockout halfway through and you draw on a rating of 4.6 overnight which is 6 million viewers that's an estimated 6 million viewers that's what it translates to phenomenal that's six million people that get to see you in action and i don't know what other platform what other series is doing this a lot of people want to talk about al Heyman's numbers and they compare andres fanfara versus joe smith jr which is a run-of-the-mill random fight that ended in a in a shocking fashion because we got to see an american fighter defeat the favorite in a in a place in chicago where there's a high polish community but people want to overlook that just to compare that number to keith thurman versus robert guerrero the first ever or danny garcia people with clearly more star power adrian bronum doesn't make sense but it's funny because some of those same people they're not making articles they're not doing videos talking about this because they don't like al Heyman and they never want to give him a fair shake anyway so let's sweep it on the rug 
let's broadcast his failures or what we perceive as failures and whisper his successes or not even talk about it at all but here with new media i give it to you all so shout out to al Heyman. thank you al Heyman. premier boxing champ is definitely one of the things that is keeping boxing afloat this is not pay-per-view you didn't have to pay to watch it in standard definition or high definition you could have just watched the olympics and immediately after tune into boxing on a random sunday like i said in my post fight video you can go to church go to ihop or denny's whatever you prefer come home see someone get stretched and still have the rest of your day to spend with your kids to do whatever you do so six million that's crazy and i'm not mad at him for riding the coattail off the olympics that again that's smart business if he could have put it on Fox, a different network where people would have to change, it probably wouldn't have been that number. But it's no different than Canelo versus Kirkland set a record for HBO off of the hills of Mayweather Pacquiao. That was one of the marketing. Hey, if you were bored to death and you were underwhelmed by Mayweather versus Pacquiao, then watch Canelo Kirkland. It's going to be a war in Texas. The future pay-per-view star Canelo. I was born ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that set records that particular year, last year or whatever for HBO so you can attribute a lot of that to Mayweather Pacquiao people are still in the mood for boxing felt the type of way and then they're using that as a selling point immediately after and it was on a premium network as opposed to pay-per-view so I'm not mad at him if, if you this is business it's about winning you know what I mean and it's funny to me because a lot of people say oh you just love Al Heyman but you can go on my channel I was making videos saying Al Heyman is bad for boxing or ruining boxing at moments where I thought he was not making the fights we want to see. This was around the time Danny Garcia versus Rod Salka. So I have no problem being objective, giving fair criticism. I'm not over the top with it, but I noticed a lot of the over the top channels and stuff like that. They don't mention stuff like this. When are they going to make a PBC? They might now if they watch my video, you know what I mean? But you don't see them doing it on their own merit, making videos like, man, PBC's killing all the fights on HBO that are good, we have to pay for on pay-per-view. They don't do that because they are looking to play sides and favoritism, tribalism, and they want to protect certain sides. I call it how I see. When Showtime was lacking in their programming, I made videos about it. When HBO was killing Showtime, I made videos about it. Now that Showtime and PBC is slaughtering HBO, right? And HBO's regular lineup definitely isn't competing. What I mean by regular lineup, is the bulk of the fights on HBO that have big names, minus Golovkin versus Brooke, which is to me still kind of a mismatch, but I'm intrigued enough to watch it. The other ones are on pay-per-view for the most part. I mean, what, what have we got on HBO? Lomachenko versus Rocky Martinez. I could have predicted the outcome of that. Um, who else? Francisco Vargas, Orlando Salido. And then the good bulk of the other fights, Crawford, Lundy, and then everything else has pretty much been pay-per-view. Canelo Khan, Canelo Liam Smith. You know what I mean? These are all pay-per-view fights, right? Crawford Postal. So I think it's clear that Premier Boxing Champ is carrying the torch. I don't care what anyone says. Anytime you have 6 million people who are tuned in to a fighter who's trying to get star power and trying to, to climb up the ladder and get those big fights, that's phenomenal. You know what I mean? There's there's really nothing you could say to dispute that because I know fighters and I know trainers and stuff and I can't tell you one fighter or trainer that I've ever met that would say me being showcased and my skill set being showcased in front of 6 million people, that's not good enough. I need 10 million people. Nobody's going to say that. I know fighters who fight in front of 300 people in an auditorium, you know what I mean, at a high school and stuff like that. So there's no one that's going to say, oh, 6 million viewers nationwide on NBC. That's not good enough. So despite what the haters say and, and the people, the detractors, this, this is a very good number, especially for this type of fight, because we didn't know what it was going to be. And I'm so happy for moments like this when fights like this on PBC, free TV do good, because this is a good, it could like, let's say it was a controversial fight and it ended in a controversial decision where the, the rightful winner got robbed. Those are black eyes for the sport of boxing. So for casuals, that's not a good fight for them to tune into if it was like mediocre fight, plus it ended in controversy. But this is kind of in your face. This is what can capture some of those casuals and make them check for Errol Spence Jr. or just boxers in general, because it was a, it was a 
fast paced fight. It ended in a vicious knockout on primetime, regular TV, free TV. All you have to do is have a satellite or antenna to, to get these channels. So it was the type of fight, that's the good type of fight to have been under that microscope. You know what I mean, with six million viewers. So again, we'll see who, who talks about this. I definitely think I'm probably one of the first people to talk about it other than, of course, Lance Pugmire. But very solid numbers from Al Heyman. And it just, it's a testament to his business savvy. I mean, this dude is, he decided to put this fight on NBC. So he probably did his research and knew that the Olympics would be on and knew that if he gets this slot, it'll be immediately after the Olympics and people will be paying attention because it's sports related. They're watching the Olympics and like, oh, what is this, this kid with the little D-town shag? You know what I mean? Oh, he got power. He's throwing combinations. This is good. And then they just end up watching it. Crazy. So once again, Premier Boxing Champs keep setting records. The haters keep hating. It's funny to me, man, because people say stuff, oh, your channel, you're so biased. You suck. But notice the channels that are constantly and rapidly growing. I look at my YouTube analytics all the time, and you'll see a lot of people who call it fair and objective down the middle. You look at their fan bases, their subscriber counts, and what they're doing, and then you look at the other people who are doing the opposite of that, and they're probably not growing like that because they're clearly hiding the truth from from the viewers and it's all about being real so if pbc got the torch right now that it is what it is and that's kind of how i see it drop it in the comment section shout out to errol spence jr and leonard the lion bundu definitely showed hard in that particular fight what's next who do you want to see spence fight drop in the comment section make sure you like my video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off tell me three people you'd like to fight next three people uh Went out of Kel Brook, Jesse Vargas. Went out of Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. Uh, Danny Garcia. Okay, you and Kel Brook, how fast do you knock them off? I don't know. Uh, maybe in, in six, in six rounds. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.